Okay, here we go, lesson 11. So your assignments this week are gonna be nine, 10, and 12. So Wait. we're doing lesson 11, we're teaching you lesson 11, but you are only you only have to do problem sets nine, 10, and 12. Good? All right, so here's 11. Um, so you guys like word problems? No. Yeah, either do I, you know why? Because they're in English. I like, math okay so your goal is to try to get it out of english as fast as you can and convert it to a math problem so when you see stuff like this when you see stuff like this you have some blip 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 and then you have some more what kind of math is that? If you have some apples and then you get seven more apples, what kind of a, what kind of math is that? Yes. Addition. Addition. So when you see the word some or some more, or when you see a number, like I have five apples and then I get seven more apples, that's usually addition. But it's just an addition problem. That means that doesn't mean you're gonna add. Okay, let's say you have some apples and then you were given seven more apples and now you have 12 apples. So how do you figure out how many apples you had in the first place? Yeah. You take 12 minus seven. Yes, right. whatever you had before. So you get some and then plus some more and then you have like a total, but sometimes you might be given the total and ask, and they would ask what you had to start with or how much you were given. Let's say you had 13 apples and uh, you were given some more apples and then you had 15 apples. So how do you figure out how many apples you were given? Why do we need so many apples? <laughs> <laughs> I just had an apple for lunch. It was a, it was a good one. It was, it was a I good apple, like but apple. yeah. I have 50 pounds worth of apple in my house right now. What? How? Hey, I'm a teacher. You can bring it to me. That's like a teacher gift. Yeah, a bunch, like 50,000 of many ones, and I'm just like... Can oh, you bring me one? Yeah, sure. Because it's a teacher gift. I can bring gift. the entire school one apple. <laughs> well, that would be a lot of apples. Well, that, that's a lot, it is a lot of apples. Okay, so what kind of problem is this? What if you have some... Blah, 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 and then some went away Ooh. what kind of problem is that subtraction. Grady subtraction subtraction okay so that could be something like this sum minus however many went away and then what you have left I started to hear a giggle did you guys hear that Mm -hmm. But it wasn't it wasn't full fledged, so that was okay. I heard it. <laughs> That's what I heard. Don't do that. Don't. You're doing it. Okay. <laughs> Addie, I don't think it's gonna work out, but. It's not looking. Instead hopeful. of owing you a dollar, can I give you an apple instead? And then Pence is just doing, he's not laughing, he's just doing. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. Sometimes people laugh with their mouths, sometimes people laugh with their shoulders, sometimes people laugh with their eyebrows. They're like. <laughs> Okay, um, here's the deal. This is lesson 11, and that's pretty much lesson 11, okay? So we're gonna, on the same board, we're gonna go lesson 12. It's all of lesson 11? So that was lesson 11. So you just need to be able to recognize when something is an addition problem, when something is a subtraction problem, and so on, yes. Yes. 
Okay, sometimes I think you're gonna ask some really cool mathematical question and then you're like, and I'm like so excited that you're like participating. And then you're like, can I go to the bathroom? Or can you be quiet? Or, can you quiet down? You're giving me a headache. Okay, so this is, that was lesson 11.